Look guys, what's this? What's this? It just arrived. Yes, I can't wait to unpack it. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel hello all my beautiful viewers today we have a very exciting video coming up that only gets topped by friday's video because friday's video finally will be my entire handbag collection 2021 and if you know me like this is my favorite video every single year like not only to produce it myself but also to watch it like other people's collections so please stay tuned for that i am so so hyped to share my current collection with you guys um but before we do that we have to to show you one more addition, one more beautiful addition to my collection. Um, if you have been following me for a while, if you see my latest vlog, you might guess what this is. Um, I have not seen this specific bag in person yet, but I would say let's just let's just do it because we're all here for the unboxing. I didn't bring any scissors because I thought I don't need them, but hey, that's happened many times before in unboxings, right? That I thought I don't need scissors and then I did need them in the end and then we had to take a little break. But sometimes it's also because I'm not strong enough, so let me let me try and do this. Okay guys, so I, I, I was able to open it <laughs> after like two minutes of pulling this. Okay, are we ready? So I have never seen how they ship their stuff. <gasps> This looks very fancy. This looks nicer than anything we've seen from Louis Vuitton or other brands out there. Okay, so here we have a little, I guess that's a receipt with all the documents. Yes, it is. And okay, okay. Wow, so here we have the little, you can't really see it, I guess. Ooh! <laughs> it comes really nicely. This is basically the class that they use for their bags, the mother and child class this is their favorite sign their favorite symbol okay i don't want to this looks so pretty i really don't want to damage it but i will i will okay wow wow okay so this is my first ever lanvin bag i hope i pronounced that right <laughs> i had french for many many years in school but uh, nonetheless that's long ago <laughs> okay oh okay i don't want to open it how do i get it out without opening it Ooh, okay job done so uh that we got the box out <laughs> The box just fell off the bed. <laughs> okay, guys, so here we are. <gasps> hello, hello, hello. Lanvin Paris. And oh my god. Like, do you guys know how Louis Vuitton ships their bags? Like, they basically put it in a dust bag into the box and like they give you huge boxes most of the time even though the bag's really small so why it gets shipped like you know it really wiggles <laughs> in the box and might get even scuffs or you know scuff marks from 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 the transport so that is next level isn't it um unbelievable okay so this is the strap i guess and oh <gasps> okay this is, this is the, you know, luxury. Um, if you buy something like this and they package it so nicely, like no other brand, not even Chanel, and they wrap the bags, of course, but they don't pack it that nicely. So here we have the Lovin dust bag. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let me put that to the side as well. And, oh, hello, little beauty. Where's the front? This is the front. <laughs> Okay, I would say let's open this up. I'm, I'm so, so amazed. What a beautiful end to the year in terms of purchases. <laughs> so this is the Christmas, Christmas gift to myself. And what better brand to pick it from than Lanvin, right? So... Hello. Hello, little Klaus. Yeah, we need to we need to make it all pretty and neat. Okay, let me. Oh, wow, they pack it so beautifully. <gasps> Can we see it? <laughs> I'm speechless. <gasps> I know so many of you guys told me, Romina, go for it. This is such a unique bag, and I think it is. I think my collection is quite unique. I have a lot of pieces that probably not everybody likes, um, but that's what makes them special, right? If you have bags that you don't see everywhere on the street. Um, this is art for me. This is like wearable art. <laughs> so, oh my God. Okay. 
Let me have a look at it. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Put all this paper away. Wow. I'm speechless. What a beauty. Okay, so I don't actually know how to open it. How do we open this? Ah, okay, we open it outwards. I show you in a second. I show you all of it. Very close up. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is box calf leather, so of course you have to be a bit more careful with it. Um, it is not as shiny as the MS box calf leather, um, so hopefully, you know. Okay. Tags. Have we ever seen a bag with <laughs> so many tags attached? Oh. <gasps> Okay, wow. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> here we are. Um, let me close this back up. Okay, this is literally like one, two, three, four. Should I, should I quickly remove them? Yeah, I think then it uh, looks better. Give me a second. Okay guys, I'm back. I removed all the tags. Okay, let me come closer to you. Okay, so this is the, and I've fallen deeply and madly in love with it, this is the Lanvin Pencil Cat Bag or Lanvin Pencil Box Cat Bag. Um, I, I, <laughs> so I have only seen one video on YouTube, um, Ava Max like spilling it on Refinery, um, what she has in her bag, and that's the only video I found <laughs> in the entire universe of YouTube about this beautiful bag. Um, Mel Sodera has this bag in a different shape. She has like the hobo style bag, um, but I could not find this exact bag anywhere else and I have so, so fallen in love with it. Okay, so let me give you the overview. This is art, right guys? I feel like this is art and art alone. So here we have the clasp. That is the mother and child symbol. Um, basically the logo of Lanvin and there we have the pencil cat and I if I understood it if I understand it right it is it was like a statue that the designer owned or something like that and now they made it into this handle so it is absolutely beautiful I don't know if we can see it so this is gold hardware however the inner line is silver hardware whereas the rest is like antique gold mud mud brush gold hardware so let's look at this kitty close up. Okay, so I hope, I hope the camera, right, there we go, focuses on it so that we can fully enjoy the beauty of it. And the back side is basically the same. Then on the sides here, you have a Lanvin, and this is shiny gold. Shiny gold plated, no, not gold plated, shiny gold metal hardware. <laughs> and there we have a Lanvin's logo again. These little hooks are for the strap. I will already tell you, I'm never gonna wear this back with a strap. I think it is perfect as a, as a, as a top handle back. However, I will show you, of course, later on some modeling shots. Okay, so I just found out the way you open this is you, you know, just, it's pretty good. Is it magnetic? Yeah, it is magnetic. So, oh, so simple and easy. And then we open this beauty up. And this is how it looks like from the inside. So actually you only have a little um, card slot there at the back. Uh, and other than that is one big compartment. It is so beautiful. It is like, if you know me, like if I would ever buy an MS bag, um, it would be a box calf Birkin or box calf Kelly, simply because like box calf leather is the most beautiful, the shiniest, smoothest leather out there. Um, I guess you know what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so this is the bag and I have to tell you, I've never, like, okay, not never, <laughs> I have for months and maybe years not been so much in love with a piece like I have been now with this one. Um, you know, I see bags every day, all day long, that's my job, you know, I go film all the vlogs, I try all those bags on. I have a big collection also, which we see on Friday, um, and you know, for something to really, you know, spark that joy and that love in you again after you've seen so many bags, after you've been collecting for many years, it, it, it's difficult, it's difficult to find those pieces, but here it is, here it is, people. Oh, 
Okay, so I would say let's do some modeling shots and then, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and first, can we just appreciate again um, how beautifully they wrapped even the strap? I mean, it's, it's wrapped in bubble wrap. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. Because they know that, you know, you need to take care of these bags when it comes to shipment, etc. Like Louis Vuitton literally chucks everything into a box. And that's it. Um, and many other brands do that too. So that was the nicest packaging I have ever seen. Um, okay, let's get this strap out. So like I said, I'm not a fan of it. I think it, I don't want to say it ruins the look of the bag. Um, it's just, no, it's a no. <laughs> it's a no for me. It's a beautiful strap, you know, maybe you can wear it with another bag. Um, so here we go, people. Whoops. Here we go. There we go. So it just comes, you know, regular strap, beautiful box calf leather as well. Uh, yeah, let's try it on. Okay, guys, so I need to show you something else because, like, the attention to detail is, oh my god. Um, yeah, I've shown you all of this. Um, like I said, this is the symbol as well. And so look at that. That says Lanvin, right? And we have the little symbol underneath again. But what I just noticed, this bag even has four feet, which is amazing. You need that for a box car so that it doesn't get scratched, right? So that the bottom remains pristine as well. Can we see that? Like even the feet have Lanvin's symbol engraved. Wow. This is attention to detail isn't it i feel i felt like i really had to show you this as well okay guys so i think black on black is just the best you know outfit choice you can make for a bag like this to stand out and radiate its beauty everywhere <laughs> okay so this is how the bag looks like handheld and this is how i will carry it most of the time so yeah what can i say i love it oh i love it it's just like like i said it's wearable art it's wearable art. Um, of course, you know, you can attach the strap. Let's do that quickly. Um, many of you in the comment section said they don't like the look with the strap as well. I actually saw a picture of Paris Hilton wearing this with a strap. Um, she has the baby blue version. Um, I think I saw it on Instagram somewhere. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. It's just not my vibe, it's not my style. Um, I think this is such a sophisticated, unique, beautiful piece. Like, you don't need to make it look casual, you know what I mean? Okay, so here is the bag with the strap. And yeah, it is okay. However, I mean, why would you wear a bag like this, like that? I mean, maybe if you have to be hands-free, you can always just, I guess, put it in the bag and take the strap with you in case, you know, you need it. Um, but, oh! Yeah, it is just a beautiful bag. I'm just, every time I see the little cat, uh, the pencil cat, on screen, I am, oh, obsessed. So, yeah, guys, this is how it looks like with the strap. Tell me, would you wear it with the strap? Probably not, right? Um, I guess you can let the strap hang down. But then again, it gives it this casual look. Why? We don't need that right <laughs> okay guys so that was everything i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease and it is a disease okay guys so friday handbag collection video boom video <laughs> i hope you enjoy it and yeah i see you on friday bye